Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And we are Urban, Urban Booth. Booth. So hello, hello, everyone. We are entering the holiday season, and this show is sponsored in part by Mr. Big's Wine. Yes, it is. And today's wine, Laura, let's hold it up. This beautiful little wine packet that we received from Mr. Big's is Sweet Escape. And uh, for those of us who can speak Italian, <laughs> Sangue de Guida. Laura, what do you think that means? Blood of what? See, and, I, and when I, blood of what, I don't know. Sangue to me, Guida. I think the Latin term, um, language, sanguine. Sanguine is relaxed. Oh, see, I, when I see sangue, I think of blood. See, when I see uh, sangue, I think sanguine. The French, it was a joke that I always used. So oh, I'm languorous and sanguine, meaning uh, I'm completely relaxed. I think it might be, I don't know why, because I think it's blood of, because of the beautiful color, and I'm about to pour some more of mm -hmm. this. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Very pretty. It's I had all of mine <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I sure did. It was it delicious. Is, it is gorgeous. It is delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. And, um, uh, it went really well with my meatloaf dinner. I was feeling very nostalgic. Mm -hmm. So I made, uh, I made, uh, actually I had to make rice for my son, but I made mashed potatoes, green peas, and meatloaf. Okay. So, we something had, about this holiday that brings back the nostalgia, you know? Yeah, we had um, salmon, wild rice, and zucchini with, mm -hmm. with tomatoes. That's what I felt like at the end. Yeah, well. And it went well with that too. It smells very, very juicy. Mm -hmm. Like you get excited just smelling it. And I know with some of the other wines that I have smelled, when I smell the grass, like I am not, you know, I'm not a Sauvignon Blanc girl. I'm just you not. Smell you smell you the fruit. You smell the fruit. And it smells like juicy, ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. They say it's a summer wine, which is probably why I went with the zucchini, because that's a summer veg to me. Right. And then, um, you know, the tomatoes. But it is, it has, it reminds me, of course, of my favorite, the bracchetto. But this might be my new favorite. Um, it has a palate cleanse at the end that is not harsh. That's why. It has a palate cleanse. It has a, nice, it has a, a, a very lovely finish. I was going to say sweet, but I don't mean sugary. I mean, mm -hmm. it is, you know. It's a nice taste, um, and it's very pleasing, like you said, to your palate. Um, I think that, again, someone who's a diehard, dry, red wine person might think that is too sweet. Uh, my glasses are crooked. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I like it. Uh, you know, yes, I can see it's refreshing, and that's why I could definitely see why it's a summer. It really, really well with my meatloaf. You know, with the touch of, you know, the tomato there, a little bit of the acidity, it took mm -hmm. it, it really complimented it. And then I had green peas, you know, with sauteed butter and rice. It just really, it was a very wonderful and tasty compliment to it. I, it really was. I, I can see why you drank the whole damn bottle, for sure. Well, my husband and I drank it with our dinner. How's that? There That's perfect. There, there wouldn't be any left for today. I knew that. And I didn't want to open the bracchetto because I would drink that on my own while I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it is definitely tasty. And like you said, I, I can see getting, getting that again. And, you know, the challenge is, is that in Brooklyn and in Queens, we can't go to our store and purchase this. I think that Mr. Biggs has been, you know, in this wine business, you know, speaking of entertainers getting into the wine business, which we just saw Kevin Hart's doing it. Uh -huh. Nicki Minaj did it in the past. Now Mary J. Blige. Wow. There's something going on. He was ahead of the game. But, right. He was definitely you know. ahead of the game, but he did something smart too. Snoop Dogg seemed to put his name on. I remember from our interview with him, something he said, these grapes don't taste stomped on. And he's right. They taste pressed. It's like the first press. Like yes. when you get olive oil, the first press is always the best. The best press, exactly. Um, That's what these, it's a very delicate flavor. It is not beat down and it's trying to disguise itself with oak and 
pepper and tobacco. No. Or grass. <laughs> grass. Okay. You've got your grapes here. And these yeah. are delicious. He also has his um, seal on it. This label yeah. is COG, which is the yeah, COG. DLC. Mm -hmm. DLC that was, you know, which says it's certified mm -hmm. by the, that Italian board that, right. that gives a seal of approval. Right. They don't, one, but I, they don't give it all the I'm time. I'm about to pour another glass. I, I'm, I'm talking about you, but I'm about to pour another glass. Listen, it's good. Yeah, it is really, really good. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, guys, while you're listening to this, you could find it um, if you go online to mrbigswine.com where he has some locations. I think he has one in Harlem. Uh, most of them are in the, what, the Westchester area. Right. You well, know. Mount Vernon. Right. Yeah. And I think y'all saw it someplace in the Bronx and Co-op City, but you do yourself a service if you just kind of seek out his wines. I mean, all his wines are really good. The um, other thing, when you said seek out his wines, they deliver, especially in the tri-state area. My, my bottles came in a lovely box. Oh, yes. Yeah, that packaging was so good. Look at that. Nothing was broken. And I've got my other two bottles mm -hmm. still in their little, you know, got my Rocchetto. Yeah, I ordered two of those. <laughs> oh, I got a Moscato in here too. You got a Moscato? Oh. I like this Moscato. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it comes in this nice honeycomb. Protect, and you know, it's in the, the honeycomb and then the honeycomb is in the box. So it's really, you can get your things delivered and not worry about your things being broken. Because that's Exactly. And then what's wonderful is that it's economically priced. Uh, his bottles go for $15. Mm -hmm. I mean, you will not be disappointed. I think you can buy anything from his line, the Pinot Grigio, uh, goodness, the Brachetto, you know, then the Merlot. You, you can buy each of them and you will not be disappointed. So wherever you are in your, your wine journey, <laughs> you know, you could buy one of those wines and enjoy it. And, and, and ask the beautiful thing is if you are a Pinot Gris girl or a Merlot girl or whatever, try his, you will be sitting there sipping. It's like, Oh, I taste this. Oh, I not yeah. really thinking I'm so highfalutin that I'm going to be, ta you know, that mm -hmm. I'm judging wines, but you right. different things and you will enjoy different things in it. Absolutely. It's, it's refreshing. Uh, it's an Italian grape mm -hmm. and uh, it is very, very tasty. You, you, you will not go wrong. And I think in time for the holidays, look, some of us have people over. We won't say who, <laughs> you know. Well, don't okay. have people over. Go get your wine. Enjoy it. Get your wine. Get on your Zoom call, your Zoom holiday call and have your, your glass of one of Mr. Big's wines. Like I said, this is a new one that he so graciously gave us. You cannot, you yeah, cannot go wrong. go wrong with this. And hopefully he will have the sage in, which I'm so excited to Right. Try. Yeah, and um, there's a little effervescence here, so it's not a flat wine. Um, I'm, and I'm excited. I mean, just because we haven't had, I think we've had every wine in his line with the exception of sage. So we, and that's a white wine that we are certainly looking forward to getting. Mm -hmm. that that comes in soon but um go online mrbigswine.com and try one bottle or two i've had i had a friend of mine who are now giving their look at a <laughs> telephone interruption um i have a friend <laughs> i have someone who's giving away bottles of mr big's wine as christmas presents what a wonderful idea and he's going to, you know, and he's making the arrangements to deliver. In some cases, you might be lucky enough to meet Mr. Biggs. Wouldn't that be cool? Icon of rap, you know? Wouldn't that be cool? So, you know, again, you know, do yourself a favor and go on and get yourself a Mr. Biggs wine and tell us what you thought. We would not steer you down a wrong path. We wouldn't. We have tried things that we don't like. We don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> he, I just had a, I just had a, a, a PTSD, you know, remembrance of uh, that, that crema. It will never be spoken of again. <laughs> Ever. Don't speak of it. I know, but they, okay. The point is, we're gonna tell you whether we like it or not, and we're gonna be honest we're about it. What's good? Because that's what we're here doing. We're exploring what's good. Exactly. Exactly. So. 
I mean, look, until next time. Oh, uh -uh, no, this is my son trying to take my wine. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> tell us what you're drinking for the holidays. And oh, and by the way, if you are following us on YouTube, if you, you should really do yourself a service and see us on every social media platform because we show a different personality, a different side to Urban Booze it's with a different each aspect. platform. Right. right. It's a different aspect so that by the time you get to see us on YouTube, you already had an idea of our personality on Instagram, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. On Facebook. On Facebook, you know, and look, we'd love to hear from you. So, you know, if you enjoy what you just heard with our little review, Hit that like button and subscribe so you can be notified every time we come out on Wednesdays at 7. Definitely hit the notification bell. And, and comment. Tell us what you like. Tell us if you didn't like it. Mm -hmm. You know, because all comments are good comments. We just would love to hear from you. So uh, until next time, you know, we're going to have some fun holiday stuff in store for you each week, especially for the month of December. Uh, this is Urban Boo signing off. We're exploring what's good. Sip sip by sip. Sip. See you next time. See, Laura doesn't have her glass of cheer. Laura, hers. <laughs> Here.